Good evening, viewers, and welcome to Health Corner. Tonight, we are going to continue with our discussion that we had some time back when we were looking at skin conditions. We realized that a number of you had many questions about your skins, about your concerns about the skins, and we decided to bring back the expert to really dedicate this show to your questions. We'll make sure that your questions begin right away and we get to understand the different concerns strictly about skin conditions. I'm Dr. Henry Dungu and I welcome to the program. Dr. Malik uh, Sempereza, welcome once again to Health Corner. Thank you, Dr. Dungu. Uh, viewers, Dr. Malik is uh, a skin specialist at Unity Skin Clinic. Uh, a skin specialist is also known as a dermatologist. Uh, he can tell us more about what a dermatologist is, but to remind you, we are going to have a question and answer session on skin conditions. Try to limit your questions to within that area, okay? The numbers to call are 0200 I'll repeat, 0200 It's going to be a Q&A, a question and answer session about skin conditions. Doctor, I'll start with my. Yes. We see people who who have different skin patches. And we locally say Avalongoba Mocha. And also in English, we call that vitiligo. Can you throw more light on what vitiligo is for us to have a better understanding? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dungu, for hosting me tonight. Uh, dermatology, let me first uh, bring dermatology. It covers skin, hair, nails, and genitals. OK. So any question about skin, hair, nails, diseases, and the genitals. Um, vitiligo basically is a disease where s normal skin loses its color, mm -hmm. which you call depigmentation. Mm. So ideally it is your own body's immunity, it's the patient's immunity, meaning the, the antibodies which uh, contra infection, which look for foreign materials in the skin, they mistake the cells that make color as foreign. So they go and attack them and kill them, which is a mistaken identity issue. Those cells are the ones you talked about. The melanocytes. Call melanocytes. Yes. The ones they make that our make skin color. dark. Yes. So if you get them damaged, mm -hmm. then your skin will, be, will lose its skin it will color. It will lose its skin color. So basically, what causes it? What causes it? In most cases, the actual cause is always unknown, mm. meaning most times it can come in anyone, anywhere, anytime. Mm. And also in other cases, it may be related to some diseases, especially of the thyroid. Mm. So always every patient at home we see with vitiligo, the first thing we do is to check the thyroid to make sure that it is okay. okay. Other times it may be some medications which can trigger it off. Mm. But the majority, the cause is always unknown. It just unknown. comes and your own body just kills its own cells. How is color. it related to twins? Because they say, I will go back watch. <laughs> yes, that is a very, very popular myth. Mm. Um, it is not related to twins. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, in our culture, society, people think of it that way. They attach cultural beliefs to it. Mm. But actually, it's a disease which is actually treatable and there's a lot of stigma associated with it. But otherwise, it has nothing to do with our longova mocha. And how is vitiligo? related to albinism? Vitiligo is entirely different from albinism. Oh. Albinism is genetic, okay. meaning you know, you're born without the ability to make skin color, mm -hmm. totally. Mm. Be it in your eyes, in the hair, the skin itself. So albinism is entirely different from vitiligo. Vitiligo comes in when you have your normal color, and then you start having patches around the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth, the ears, mm. the genitals, the hands, and the feet. Okay. So that's how different they are. So b because when I, when I I look at uh, a person with albinism or an albino, and I see they've lost their color, mm. 
then I see they are not vitiligo. born with their color. Or oh, they are not born with it. Yes. In vitiligo, you are born with it. You are born with it, then and you lose, lose it. it in patches. Yes. Can you ever lose it all and become like muzungu? In vitiligo, mm. yes, yes. Uh, the, the biggest factor is when a, a patient gets stressed about it. It is one disease which are found to be related to the mind, strongly mm. related to the mind. So when a patient sees a small patch, they worry about it. The more they worry, the larger it spreads. So the more it spreads, b you know, before you know it, it eats them up. Actually, I already say uh, Ma Michael Jackson is one of the persons who had vitiligo. Okay. So for him, he chose to permanently depigment the rest of the body. And that's how we ended up seeing him black, and then he turns white, and everyone was wondering why. I see. Yeah. It wasn't a completion of vitiligo, but treatment to get it. It was, yes. Sometimes is there if it's treatment too much. for vitiligo? Yes, there's treatment for vitiligo. We mm. do have the treatment at Unity Skin Clinic. I'm proud to say that, you know, we introduced some new modalities, treatment, uh, which are actually helping a lot of patients to recover their color. Mm. So basically we have a machine, it's called a UVB phototherapy, which has no? revolutionized UV uh, what? UVB. UVB phototherapy. UVB yes. Phototherapy. Yes. Ad ideally it is mainly artificial sunlight. It's a form of sunlight which patients come for and for two days a week mm. they have their sessions very short sessions on all the parties where which are they're exposed to mm. and then we give them medications creams to put on and tablets to swallow and eventually actually they do get back their color mm. especially the face the face recovers 100 percent the ears they recover the neck mm. it's usually the hands and the feet which recover last those areas which are hard to treat we do what we call melanocyte graft transfer. Mm. So we get small patches, just small bits of normal skin color, less on the back, and then we transfer them and put them in the area which has the vitiligo. And once they go in, they regrow actually and spread back out and someone gets back color. So it is treatable. It is treatable. You know, that is news to many of us yes. here that we can have a treatment for vitiligo. Yes. Okay. Is that a contagious disease? No, it if is someone not contagious. has it and I'm near them, can I get it? It is not contagious. Actually, it is really, really key that so many people should know about vitiligo. So many people, be it in the health fraternity and the whole community, actually, they need to know that there's nothing wrong with a patient who has vitiligo. Okay. Yeah. Well, for some of you who have just joined in, this is uh, Health Corner here on WBS TV. I'm Dr. Dungu, and my special guest tonight is Dr. Malik. Sempe Reza, who is a skin specialist, and he is here to take us through your questions on skin conditions. And he told us skin covers skin, hair, hair nails, nails, and, and the genitals. genitals. So venereology can also kind of... Venereology is part of dermatology. It's part of dermatology. Yes. The numbers to call are 0200 I'll repeat, if you want to be part of the program, the number to call is 0200906672. And we'll be able to take your comment or question or contribution. But remember, if you want to be part of the program, you need to move away from your TV set, ask question, then run back and watch as we respond to your question. We have had people Let's forget about vitiligo right now, yeah. unless someone has a question <laughs> on that. But uh, you've had a number of people who complain about embaladi, acne. What do you have to say about embaladi? What is acne and what causes it? Acne is uh, a very common skin condition. Mm. And uh, it's called, the commonly called the pimples. Do you mind if I first take this caller? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hello, caller. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> yes, you're live on Health Corner. Uh, What's your name? Daughter has a skin problem. Oh, no. Sorry, I've lost you. Daughter has a skin problem, but I think... The network has let her down. Okay, let's hear this one. Hello, caller. Hello. Oh, no. Please don't do that. Yeah, the lines are open. 0200 
906672. Hello. 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 Welcome to the program. Can you speak up, please? I'm Olivia calling from Uganda. Olivia calling from where? Uganda. Okay, what's your... Namusuna. Okay. Namusuna, how is it treated and how does it spread? Okay. She said she's Olivia from somewhere. From Banda. From Banda, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you want to... Uh, no, let's first get this one. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh. Someone was there and disappeared. So we have Olivia from Banda asking about Namusuna. But remember, mm -hmm. you have a question on uh, acne. On acne. So <laughs> question one is acne. Let's hear this. Hello, caller. Hello. 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 Well, they're trying to exchange phones. No, you speak. No, no, no. You speak. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, yeah. Basically. Oh, oh, my God. Someone is coming. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Hello? You are live on Health Corner. Yeah, I'm asking. Yeah. I have got a kid who is 10 months. We are old. Kindly speak up. 10, 10, 10 years, 10 months. 10, 10, 10 months old, eh? Mm hmm. But she has not yet grown with hair. Will the hair come or it will not? Okay, no hair yet. What's your name, sir? James, I'm in Malaba. James in Malaba. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay, yeah. James is saying he has a 10 months old baby, but hair has not yet developed. Okay. Are there chances that this hair will come? Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome to the program. What's your name? Hello? 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 Hi. I'm fine, thank you. What's your now name? What I was asking is that my daughter has a skin problem. Mm. Uh, when I took her to the hospital, the doctor says that it's allergy. Mm -hmm. But I've tried to apply creams, but the thing has not disappeared and it keeps on inching her. Mm. How old is she? Yeah. She's nine months. Nine months. And what's your name? My name is Lydia Sanz. Lydia from where? Bulenga. Thank you for watching. Lydia has a, a nine-month baby who has skin problems. Yes. We have another one. Let's take two and then we answer them. Hello? 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 Okay, that one is not there. We take one, then we start answering the questions. Uh, do you have another one online? Okay, we have one. Hello, caller. Hello? 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 Sorry. We can't hear this one. Let's try to respond to these questions. Uh, Olivia from Namasuba. No, from Banda. Yes, asking Most about Namusuna. What is Namusuna? Yes, uh, Namusuna is what you call chicken pox. Mm, speak up. Namusuna is what you call <laughs> chicken pox. Uh -huh. uh, it's very common. It uh, it's usually comes in childhood. Childhood is caused by virus. Mm. It spreads very easily from child to child, usually by sneezing, coughing. And the virus that causes it is called varicella. Okay. So that is Namusuna. Usually it is self-limiting, meaning it will go by itself and the person who has it gets immunity against it, meaning they will not get infected again unless other conditions come in later like HIV, mm. immunosuppressant medications. But basically it is treated, ideally if, if your child has it, you have to isolate them. That would be the recommendation. Mm. Though some parents always like if a child has it, they call all the others and they come and they get infected. It's very, very is, common in schools. Yes, so they, they don't mind about it. Okay. So ideally what we do, we help the child to reduce the itching. Very common, we give calamine. 
which is the easiest to give. If it's too much, when it has just started, sometimes you can give some antiviral medicines to make sure it's not as bad as it would have been. Okay. And then in adults, if a patient has HIV, mm. uh, actually Namusuna is, can be life-threatening. So when a child has them, usually we advise them if there are people at home whom the parents know that they have HIV to be good to isolate them. At okay. least to go somewhere else until the child totally recovers. So it's highly contagious. It's highly contagious. Mm -hmm. This main problem is usually the scars that are left. So most parents come in and say, oh, they, it left so many spots on my child, which I want to be gone. We just tell them, just give them some time. It takes some years. But if the child disappear. is too light skinned, they will eventually disappear. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Janet from Malaba has a 10 months old, old child. Yes, with no hair. No hair. No hair. Yes. Um, Any chance? Yes, the child say I will grow. It depends on what the cause is, and mm. also it's relative. The parent may say there's no hair when actually there's some little hair. Okay. Yes, there might be some little hair. Mm. So my suggestion is the child is still too young for you to panic, okay. to try to see what is wrong with the child. Um, idea the best thing would be the child needs to be examined, ideally by a specialist who understands uh, diseases of the hair, mm. to know whether there's a disease going on, or it is the ch child's just a late growth of the hair. But okay. eventually, I believe the hair would grow. Uh, Lydia Birunji from B Bulenga. No yes, Lydia. with a child yeah. with the itchy skin. Yeah. Yes. They tell I think from what she described, allergy. allergy. She mm. said allergy. Mm. From what she described, it is eczema. Okay. Eczema is very, very common in children. Very, very common in children, especially in this young generation that's coming up. Unfortunately, it has come so much. Mm. But ideally with eczema, what she needs to know is one, she's going to have it for a while with her child. There's no permanent cure. So mm. she won't go and look for a fix. The main issue is controlling the triggers. What causes the eczema? That's always what I tell them. So the child will outgrow it eventually, maybe when they're 11, 13, 15, or 17 years. Let me take this one. Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah. Kindly speak up. Yeah? Hello, welcome to the program. What's your name? I'm Glenn Jackson. You are who? Yeah, I'm Jackson. Jackson, where are you calling from? You're calling from... Yeah, I'm Jackson. Kindly move away from your TV set. Then you ask your question. Yeah, I'm your Jackson. I'm going from Kamunye District. Okay. From Kamunye District. What's your comment or question? The question which I have. Yeah. Oh, no. Jackson from Kamwenge, we've lost that. We'll go for a short break. When we come back, we'll continue with our discussion and our questions or comments on you and your skin when we come back.